Senate Republicans announced Wednesday evening that they have reached a fundamental agreement with White House negotiators on how to move forward with a coronavirus relief bill. After the third meeting this week, Sens. Richard Shelby, R. Alla, Chair of the Appropriations Committee, Lamar Alexander, R10, Chair of the Health, Education, Labor and Pensions Committee, and Roy Blunt, Armo, Chair of the Rules Committee, emerged from the negotiating room with Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin and White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows saying they are completely on the same page and in good shape. The tentative framework comes amid tension in the party over how to respond to the coronavirus pandemic, which is forcing states to re-evaluate their plans to reopen and to address the growing numbers of cases and deaths. The legislation remains fluid, and Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, R. Key, has indicated that he wants to keep the price tag at $1 trillion. Republicans aren't all on the same page, as some have denounced the cost amid a soaring national debt. But the latest talks show some signs of breaking an intraparty logjam that has kept negotiations at a dead stop for weeks. The new proposal will serve as a starting point for negotiations with Democrats, who have passed a $3.4 trillion bill in the House and have been pressuring the GOP to move quickly on new aid as COVID-19 cases and deaths rise in the United States. The Republicans intend to release their plan Thursday, but in a handful of bills now instead of just one bill, Blunt told reporters. So we'll have one appropriations bill, we'll have several authorization bills that explain in more detail how that appropriated money will be spent, and obviously there will be a bill that will talk about any money that is distributed in direct payments or any other way," he said. Negotiators agreed on $16 billion for testing as part of the Republican proposal, but they plan to offer $9 billion in previously appropriated funds and $16 billion in new funding. The combination of funds is a compromise between the Trump administration, which wanted to zero out funding for testing, and Senate Republicans, who wanted $25 billion. Because the administration opposes running a national testing program, funding for testing would be focused on schools, daycare centers, nursing homes and senior centers. I think it's helpful to get down to what we were really talking about, a sense of the preeminent federal responsibility would be on the testing front and more clearly defining the $9 billion that had been set aside earlier that would absolutely be testing money, along with $16 billion that we add to that," Blunt told reporters. As part of the preliminary agreement, Republican negotiators agreed to $70 billion for K-12 education for all schools on a per capita basis, with half of the money going to covering costs for schools that have reopened.